we've made the commitment to be at the spa castle on all of the equinoxes and solstices and so we're inviting you do you want to come with us friday september 22nd to the spa castle for a day long deluge in deliciousness i just decided to keep yes. the d's <laughs> keep the d's baby it's a friday so you have to take off for work i work for myself so i'm giving myself permission to take off we want you all to come out with us and share with us the fall equinox and what that means think I've shared that I, my cycle is a beast and for many 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 years I have been on the long journey of coming into one with my cycle like a woman's body naturally bleeds that's that's how our body goes it should not hurt I don't believe that Eve committed the greatest sin and now we got to have these painful cycles um but you know it's been a process i've been like sent to the emergency room or i'd be on some extra special strong drugs medicinal use level drugs um to ease my pain so a few weeks ago i was home probably depressed watching netflix documentaries because that's how i take a break from reality i watch documentaries and so, I like to watch health documentaries because I'm a Virgo and we're always thinking about our health. You may not notice, but yeah. So I watched this um, documentary that all of a sudden everybody on Facebook just watched last week or so, something. Um, what the Health? What the Health. Yeah. So I watched What the Health. I did not get all the way through it. I My got halfway it. through it and I was just like, okay, like, damn. Like, not only did I get through What the Health, I watched, like, two others. Like, I watched one before What the Health, and What the Health, and I watched another. So, you know, I, like, I've watched Forks. And this was your forks break over, from this was, Yeah, this was my break from reality. I've watched Forks Over Knives, and the I shit where the dude drinks knives. all the, he just drinks the, the green drinks, and uh, I've watched every health-based documentary on Netflix there is. What the Health is the newest one, because I watched all of them before. And it was a few days before my cycle started, like maybe two or three. And I said, okay, I'm going to be a vegan. It just, it just hit me. You have to listen to intuition. And, but that day I decided no meat, no dairy, no um, sugar, um, no soda or alcohol. And so I started. Dairy is hard. I no meat. Imagine. I went 10 years Dairy being a vegetarian. <laughs> I can do no meat very easily. Dairy is my crap. No dairy, including eggs. Now, that was really the problem. I was like, now, a uh, bitch will hard boil some eggs in the morning and pop that. Oh, shit. So, no dairy was hard. Um, what I ended up doing is fresh directs, all the green vegetables and fruits that I could stomach. And I went on Instagram and found all the vegan white people. I was trying to find some black folk. I just recently found some. But I found all like the vegan. This is one Zest My Lemon on Instagram. Let me just show you her. Okay. You can show them, yeah. them later. But Zest My Lemon. I love this white woman. And on the weekends, I just look through her post to figure out what I'm going to buy for um, groceries during the week so I can eat. I put my... um. I put my um, notifications on so every time she she posts, I see it. I just look at all oh of gosh. her food and use it as... Oh, this all looks amazing. Listen. And she making breakfast, lunch, and dinner. She got kids. She upstate New York. You see her food? This is all her, most of her cooking. Okay, what? This is mostly her this cooking. It's like some freaking gourmet restaurant. You can tell when she eats out, but she is really big. But most big. of this is her. But most of this is her cooking at home. Like, you can tell that's her eating out. She'll tell you I'm at Whole Foods. Right. She'll, tell you, Whole Foods she'll tell you when she's out and eating at someone else. But other than that, like, this is her. I'm putting it all together, and I'm eating it. So, Zest My Lemon. I found her, and I would just look through, like, a week, two weeks worth of her stuff and just look at what her main ingredients are and just buy them. 
and it says bowls and plates of colorful goodness which is exactly what this account is yeah. so boom three days so natural normally what happens is um i feel the heaviness i feel whichever side is ovulating i start feeling the pain and the day before my cycle starts and the day of my cycle i used to take the days off of work and i cry in the house and like ride it out like, I just try to ride it out. But I ain't trying to do nothing. I make, like, a big bowl of chili. I make, like, a big bowl of something that I can eat for the next couple of days. And I'm in so much pain. And I work it out. This time, three days of vegan, my cycle just started. Like, I just started bleeding. I was like, I need a, I need a sign. I need, I need, I need a sign. And so then, um, my cycle lasts extremely long. It's ridiculously long. It's about seven or eight days. Um, and I kept on eating vegan, no meat, no dairy, no alcohol, no sugar, no soda. For the whole entire time, I didn't take one, um, pill, ibuprofen. I didn't take one, I didn't take any. I had no pain, no cramps, no discomfort. I was hoping my cycle would be shortened, but it didn't shorten. Um... I also, and then I also was, because I was a vegetarian for many years, but I was a very bad vegetarian. I was a vegetarian that didn't eat vegetables. So, I just, so my, my identification of vegetarian was just don't eat meat. Right. Right? It wasn't like, oh, you, you have eat to vegetables. Eat vegetables. Yeah. Some Starches. Something. Starches. Starches. Carbs. Yeah, everything else. So... I was really intentional about eating greens and vegetables and, and um, not even as much fruit. Like really just Brussels sprouts and spring and string beans and carrots and kale and spinach and um, really, 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 really going in. But that no dairy was the hardest thing. What, what I took away from the vegan cleanse was how important it is to eat fruits and vegetables. Like how important that is to really have that be for me like 80% of what you're eating um, and how quick and easy it is and then also like I, I was um, making green drinks two or three times a day um, and I wasn't hungry that was the thing that was the thing I wasn't hungry um, everything is in preparation if you don't prepare then your ass gonna be hungry and you're gonna be eating all the things you ain't supposed to eat right um, but I think this idea of veganism, and I think also another part of it, just like everything else that's healthy, why people got their hands too far in it that is unattractive. So See, that's, yeah. It's I unattractive. Guess. Yoga is unattractive because you got all these white people, but then you got trap yoga and it's all black people. You like, bet, downward dog. So the, the, the video that you had posted about invisible vegan yes or I don't want to be an invisible because I was a vegan before the word the term vegan ever existed and I was homeschooled so my associations with it were not you know that it was a white thing but I think it's very relevant and that this this documentary which I don't know if it's been made yet because I donated money to it being because they have like a kickstart or something about it it was kind of like a trailer for mm -hmm. uh, a documentary about veganism in the black community mm -hmm. and I looked at it and I was just like I totally understand the importance of framing this for the black community so that it's not looked at as something that only white people do because our you know a lot of the dietary old you know the, the stuff that came out of slavery from like eating the stuff that yes. was like left over but that's what my dude david banner talks about all the time like the food that we have that is our black cuisine right all so comes food. out of slavery that's the real challenge that's one of the real challenges to first kind of present it not as something that's coming from white, white people. people you know the way that so many things that are good for us have been because trust me they have taken that shit from indigenous it, people yeah. and then tried to make it look like oh real juice is what we drink going out into nature is what we, we do. do it's just like you know really and truly when you got here there were indigenous people with an agrarian diet you know make it you know tilling the land and you know all of this stuff was happening before 
your yeah. ass made yeah, here. Yeah. So um, when we when we're thinking about self care this month, we want to really think about what are we putting in our bodies. And like full disclosure, um, I'm 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 an entrepreneur as of September first, which means nobody's giving me a paycheck, which means that my health insurance is no longer there. And so I've been thinking a lot about like, okay, you've always toyed around with how food is medicine because food is medicine and movement is medicine but bitch now you're going to have to actually right. live it right. be it do it right. because um, you have to take care of yourself It's, it's this, that's, this is a whole other topic but this idea of really taking care of yourself um, may it be from an entrepreneur's perspective and discipline of doing work to a health perspective and discipline of eating well like I'm just realizing all the things that are good for us we make it seem so laborious and all the things that are bad for us just so easy it's just so easy to eat poorly it's just so it's easy so to just easy. like not do what you're supposed to right. do not stretch not work out not exercise so easy but is it really easy you know like right. does it really help is it really something in the long run in the long even run even in the short run so like when i was an athlete I was healthier and I stopped being an athlete like in my mid-twenties I felt the difference but then I just got used to the other difference okay I I was an athlete from 11 to about 20 21 okay I knew how my body felt I knew how my body worked I knew I, I knew it I felt the difference at 22 23 24 I felt the shift yeah I then just got used to that, to that I just got used to that feeling yeah, yeah. And so I think it's I, now, late 30s, early 40s, damn. you're just shifting to another one and your right. body's like, what you going to do now, bitch? What you going to do now? You going to say, you, you want to keep this pain now? <laughs> you kept it all in your 20s and 30s. Now you want to keep it? Right. What right. you, you want to do? And now you're like, no, I don't want to keep it. Because it is actually interfering with your function. Yeah. Right? So I think, I, you know, my goal in life is for everyone after me to learn shit way before I did. So for a 17 year old and, and these 17 year olds are woke because there's a lot of young ass vegans um, and black vegans too. Like they can look at their elders and be like, mm, diabetes, heart disease, yeah. oh, cancer. cancer. No, I don't want that. I don't want to eat this. I'll eat that. Um, and the thing about it is when you start eating right, you feel it immediately. You feel it immediately. When you eat right, you feel it immediately. I know when I make green juices, when I make my apple, carrot, ginger, I feel that immediately. Immediately. Like, oh my God, this is so good. It makes me just feel immediate. And I'm always just like, why don't I do this more often? Discipline. So, last month, we told you about Spot Castle. This month, we're like, try some vegan-ish lifestyle yeah. do it for three days do it for a weekend do it friday saturday sunday see how it feels um you want some inspiration zest my lemon that's my girl it's beautiful put up a collage of zest my lemon zest my place. lemon and um see how that works out because i know when my cycle comes around again i'm gonna go ahead and try for 10 days and hopefully um my cycle won't last for eight days <laughs> <laughs> That would be nice. That, that would be really, really nice. <laughs> Our fall book this fall is You Look Like Something Blooming, a memoir of divination seeds to cultivate your feminine garden and temple. Let me tell you something. This is a weird book. <laughs> okay? No, I have to tell you that. I love weird. It's not like... It's not, it, it's not like this. <laughs> it's not like this. It is, it is different. So this is not for the faint of heart and it is not for the church girl. It is not for anyone who are, is caught up in respectability Ooh. politics. Oh, no. Or caught up in having a framework of femininity or black femininity or womanhood that uh, fits in a 
box. So this is our full book to take us in, not for the faint of heart, but um, in September, this is what we'll be reading. You look like something blooming, and we invite you to come out with us in September, October, and November as we dig through this text. Soul Sister Series, in pursuit of a pleasure-filled life, though shit keeps on happening.